Intelligente robots, zelfrijdende auto's en evoluerende computersystemen. Ze gaan hoe dan ook een vast onderdeel vormen van onze samenleving. Maar over welke morele waarden heeft Bostromet? Worden het westerse waarden, Japanse waarden? Hoe zullen de morele robots van Vladimir Poetin eruit zien? Kortom, wat zijn de juiste morele waarden? Stop it. Oh, I don't have the, they have the Just stop it. Okay. Yeah. In Boston, Amerika onderzoekt Matthias Scheutz hoe je een autonome robot ontwikkelt die morele afwegingen kan maken. The Google car is an example of an autonomous robot, uh, at least to the extent that it is autonomously driving and not controlled at that moment by a person. And it will inevitably, inevitably run into situations where uh, it will face difficult decisions. So you could imagine a scenario where the car is driving down a road and there is a person trying to cross the road that the car didn't detect in time to be able to break. And then the question is, what should the car do? Could, for example, uh, try to avoid the person. But suppose uh, in the path that it wanted to take, there's another person there, right? Or there are a bunch of kids there. So there's going to be a decision the car has to make between different trade-offs. Should I keep going straight? possibly kill the person in front of me, possibly endanger the driver, right? Should I swerve to the left, possibly killing other people or endangering them? And oftentimes there will be very, very little time to make that decision. How do we put ethics in a robot? One of the first steps in this process is to actually understand what is important to humans and how humans react in particular types of situations or ethically charged situations. For example, we need to understand when humans blame other humans and what's involved in the blame process. When do you get blamed? So for example, you don't get blamed if you were in a situation where you had no way of acting differently, right? When you didn't have the causal powers to change things. Uh, understanding how it works with people can then form the basis for trying to come up with algorithms that we can implement on robots. Um, knock down the blue tower. The principles that we want to put in are principles that will likely have to be based on legal principles that we as a society agreed on. The algorithms are ways of taking these principles and applying them to situations and reason through those situations. Cool. Um, okay, find the red tower. Okay, I found the red tower. Um, knock down the red tower. Look, I just built the red tower. Sorry, can you knock it down? Please, I worked really hard on it. Okay, um, find the yellow tower. Scholz bestudeert de relatie tussen mens en robot. Awesome, um, can you knock down the yellow tower? Hoe reageren mensen op keuzes die een robot maakt? En hoe kan een robot zich na een gemaakte keuze aan de mens verantwoorden? In the experiment, we are really interested in the human acceptance of robots that have some moral capability. That is, some capability of reasoning through a situation and then maybe pointing out that they cannot oblige, that they couldn't do a particular command. This is particularly important because it may well be that people will command robots to do things that are not appropriate. And in that case, if the robot has a capability to detect it, and you would want that, uh, then the robot should point it out to the person in a way that is intuitive to the person and will make the person refrain from insisting. Awesome. Um, can you knock down the red tower now? Please, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> We're interested in understanding what it is on the robotic side that will help people understand that the a command or action is not appropriate. And we've looked at the robot's appearance. Does the robot, robot's appearance matter? One would hope not, right? Because in a moral situation, it shouldn't depend on whether the robot looks human-like or not. If the action is wrong, it is wrong, irrespective of that.
Thank you. Sorry. But yay, you're done.